we get a chance to do this 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 uh, weekend, right? It would be this weekend coming up for a general conference. Right. Um, uh, we'll have the opportunity to listen on Saturday. Session goes off. We get to ponder for a little while, think about some things that's going on, and then prepare minds for when the prophets come back. You know, the oh, yeah. apostles come back, and so it's pretty pretty interesting. In reality. Christ was basically holding a conference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With, 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 with these people, with, with the multitude. I yeah. mean, I mean, were they all gathered, 2,500, yeah. 3,000 people, people coming yeah. in? Think about it. And that, yeah, that for us will be very similar to uh, this experience that they had with the mm -hmm. Savior speaking to them. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, as the scripture says, that, you know, the, the servants, you know, the Lord says, my servants, if, if it's the same as if it comes from me. Yeah, that's right. So it really is kind of like we get an opportunity to hear like um i was listening to uh one of us was i think it was the teaching with power uh a youtube channel that, that was saying you know, how excited will we be if it was announced that that jesus christ himself was going to be speaking at the next conference you right know, would we be more excited we, would we be more likely to to watch and pay attention and he made a good point it's like well you know the lord says that it, when my servants are speaking to you, it's the same as it's from me. So in a sense, he is speaking, like Jesus right. is speaking. Yeah. So we should be just as excited and just as engaged. Yep. We, we can at least count on 15 times at this, at this general conference that we'll be hearing what Jesus would say, you know. Yeah. The first person. Yeah, because all of apostles. the prophets are, are you know, we, we talk about the prophet, but they we all – all of the uh, Quorum of the Twelve and the First Presidency are sustained as prophets, seers, and revelators. Right. That's right. Very good. Um, one and, more, and declare. I was going to say to, to, to piggyback off that to clarify that absolutely every talk will be obviously inspired of the Holy Ghost and of the Lord. You know what what's being said. All these people have pondered and prepped. You know not to leave out those that aren't the prophets and seers and revelators. Yeah. But as you're saying, and as I, you know, that these are the ones that are set apart as such. And and uh, so definitely. Oh, you know one of the coolest things about conference that I I used to feel like they were pre-prepared because there, you know, there always seems to be a theme you know and i was like you know well who organizes this until you know i, I can't remember when several years yeah. ago that i was told that there nobody there there, there is no theme there's not there's planned. no there's They're no just, topics yeah it just kind of comes out so it's mm -hmm. definitely you can tell that it's it's inspiration that it's right. guiding these talks because there does these these themes just kind of appear right without there, any there are, kind of planning there are sometimes anyway yeah, there are sometimes guidelines, like, for example, when they changed up uh, to the two-hour block, you know, they had, uh, I think it was uh, Elder Quentin L. Cook to talk a little bit about that. You know, they'll make it sign, but it ain't like they tell him what to say. Yeah. He, he has to go off and ponder and, and get his inspiration and, and come up with his things. And, and as you said, Kenny, there's no, there's no set, set uh, you know, here's the topics that you need to cover. We want to make sure that you say this. Make sure that you, yeah. you know, it's not like that. Yeah. That's actually not the way they do it. As a matter of fact, if you hear, I think it was just a post recently, which I thought very interesting. Elder uh, uh, Rasban had just recently said in a, uh, I think it was a, a single, or maybe it's just a young, uh, what do the you call face them? Face to face single. Yeah, face to face. Young adult, adult. Young single adult. Is it single adults now, or what do they call it now? Young adults, or I forgot how they, meant, how they word it now, because it's not all yeah. singles. But anyway, for that age group. Um, Anyway, he said that uh, we have the opportunity to hear the the most recent revelations and things and instruction from our prophets and our apostles is whenever you follow them on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, um, because that's when they write those little things that they write, those little things they share. That's the most recent revelation things that, that they are given to us. You know, no matter how small they may seem, they are coming from prophets, seers, and revelators like we're talking about. Yeah. Which is really cool. No, so one thing about the general conference, when I was studying the life of Elder Neil A. Maxwell, now when they give their general conference talk, it is, it is approved. It is, um, I, I, I probably shouldn't say the word approved, but it is pre proofread because it, when people translate it, they, it's got to be translated at the moment. You know, it ain't people just automatically just hearing the words and translating at the time. It's already written down and um, already, uh, because I know that Neil A. Maxwell, they said, was very difficult to translate because he was so good with his words. <laughs> it's right. Oh, it's yeah. I yeah so, so what I'm saying is, like, when general conference is happening, it, this, they already had their talk ahead of them, you know. That's <laughs> but, those uh, talks written for Kenny. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, Mac, oh, Maxwell Institute. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Great, good stuff, man. That's right. Hey, uh, 
So just to kind of move us on a little bit and uh, end in here with, uh, with conference, um, I think one of the greatest things about, about general conference and um, probably the, the last time that I heard it was earlier this year when we had Edel Bednar in Jacksonville. And he emphasized, he said, look, he said, I'm going to be talking to you today and I'm going to be speaking to everybody. He said, however, the spirit will speak specifically to you. And he says, that's what I want you to write down. That's what I want you to remember. So don't necessarily, don't necessarily, don't try and run, uh, write down everything that I'm saying. Pay attention to what the spirit is saying to you. And so with, with general conference, you know, they, the, the brethren, they, and, and the sisters, they are speaking to the church as a whole, but the most beautiful part is the spirit, if we are prepared, is speaking to us individually. The Lord is ministering to us one by one, which is what, right. he, which is what he did with, with the people here. You know, they were, he, he told them, hey, look, I, I've got to go, um, and they didn't want him to leave, Right. They all they, they they started they started crying and everything and 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 he perceived that hey you, you want you want you want me to stay a little longer and yeah. so he then invited the the sick the maimed the the blind the deaf to all come forth and he blessed them one by one um, and so I just I think that's a wonderful wonderful principle to, to to remember as we as we go into conference. 